winning goal with four seconds left in regulation. Looks like one of the officials needed some minor medical attention as Garvey screeches in for the Colonial. Shot deflected wide. Got a piece of Noah Carlin on the way by. So it goes deep into the corner. From the circle, that one goes over the crossbar. Good look for Ganey as he looks towards the heavens, upset that he couldn't cash in on that pretty pass. Now Niagara trying to set up its breakout. Tipped out by Johnny Wesco. Brock off on the far side of the ice. Now behind the cage, it's Garvey trying to feed the slot. Shot comes in, St. Ange, oh, it hit a body. And the puck was blown dead inadvertently. That was actually in front of a defenseman. Did Garvey Brockoff. feed that between his legs? I think he did. Do we have that again? That was almost spectacular, which means it was pretty cool, even though <laughs> the puck didn't end up in the net. Here we go. Good digging it out behind the net, below the goal line. Yeah. Look at that, backhand between the legs. First year with the program. Doing that Garvey name proud, Tim. You know, it always comes back then. My wrist shot saved by Veltri. Captain America, Steve Garvey. You know, uh, this is it. Town in backhand angle pass. Crotiris is there to play it. Comes into the offensive end. Carlin on defense for Niagara. Throws it around the far side. That's where Perinkrivs is. Shot comes in and a score! Crotiris! Snaps one off and goes short side, and the Colonials take a 1-0 lead, run to the hills, RMU out in front before the first period's over, about 4.49 left to go, and RMU enjoys the lead. Pass cleanly along the ice, St. Ange steps into the circle, Craig wants it, gets it back into the other circle to Ganey, wrist shot snuggled up against the logo by Fisk. Hey, he's doing a good job from Derek Schooley, what else are you going to do? Now town in front of the auxiliary stands. One minute left to go in the first. The Colonials up one nothing, looking for more, but here comes Niagara shorthanded. Wallace in the circle, shot, score! Shorthanded goal, he beat Veltri to the glove side and it's one to one. 34 seconds left to go in the power play and the Eagles, Purple Eagles, get one on the border right back. We're tied up at ones. Boy, second time in as many nights that's happened to. Had an assist last night for Niagara. Through the Clearview Arena logo shot. Low shot, good save by Veltri at the left pad out there. Now Jay Ahern, a couple of apples last night. Wrap around off the post. Pro Rinkrofs, good job with that one, but it went off the sidebar. Now this one goes to the far corner as Veltri watched. Rister in, Veltri save. Pro Rinkrofs keeps it alive. All right, somebody got to deal with this. <laughs> in the defensive zone, Niagara <laughs> tried to get it out of its own end. Connor Milmock <laughs> couldn't catch it. Hackett's there, though. Steps in front of Lawn. Wrist shot. Ooh, went off the glove of Veltri. Tried to snag it, but couldn't catch it cleanly. And you know, my situation now, Tim, I have to time of the weekend series. Now Ott will attempt a wrap around. Goes through the goal mouth. Turning shot that hit a couple people right in front. And Veltri able to slow things hey, down and hold on to the puck. He'll get a face off in the circle. That got dicey. Yeah, that came through a lot of bodies. Way out into the neutral zone. A boot what? A boot time. This one goes off a knee beyond the end line. A little Canadian accent uh, joke there, Tim. The goal rocked. Oh, that got through Veltri and in. The shot came from Murray, and it might have been poked in on the far side by Hackett. If so, for Hackett, that's his first career goal for the sophomore, and he's going to lead the handshake line, so maybe he did get a piece of it. Either way, the Colonials are now down one with 10.28 remaining in the second period. Yeah, not sure if it got tipped on the way to Veltri or not, but it got a lot of the glove, just not enough of it, and just trickles into the net. Uh, maybe this angle will uh, give us a little better look. Are we sure Hackett got a piece of that? I thought it was Murray, but in. takes down the skater Ahern. Coming past front shot, score! It's Pro Rincrops. The sophomore from Latvia with 14 seconds left to go in the power play makes it three to one Niagara. Yeah, beautiful uh, play by uh, the Sacred Heart series here. Then it's RIT on December the 1st up in Rochester and December the 2nd as well. Colonials with a charge to start. Shot in front, saved by Fisk. Is that look like a good chance for Ganey? So the Colonials starting with some life here in the first 10 seconds. Yeah, great start. In possession of the puck right now. Chris pass back to St. Ange. Side steps a check, comes in onside, gives it to Hayes. Wrist shot goes wide. Great look. Really good look. 
Long rebound comes out of the zone, though, down to 30 seconds in the power play. Yeah, this is the stay out there. Two line pass tipped in. Milmock, the deepest four checker for Niagara. Lund passes over to Ladun. Here's Croturis charging in. Croturis makes a power move, but couldn't get it over and lost it. Oh, almost. He had the goaltender out of position, Mike. Oh, I thought it was in. Tried that same backhand to forehand. Down to six minutes. Three to one the score. Colonials chasing. Johnson waits patiently. Shot goes off the goaltender to the side of the net. Uh, Fiske was there if it just hit the net and rebounded out. Another wall of traffic in front though. Johnson, a good job to set up that pass. Now it hits the netting in front of the auxiliary stands. We got a whistle. Good stick lift there by Ganey. Buys a little extra time. Deflected shot rolls wide. Ganey tracks it down, feeding the slot. It just goes wide by Zacher. Now another pass in front. St. Ange misses the net. Oh, St. Ange still starving for one. Room. Bounces away. Here's Klimke coming one on two. Dribbling it in the air. Klimke stops on the hashes. Belts are still in the net. Wrist shot deflected. And they say they lost sight of the puck there. Klimke winds up. Gets it over to Tulik. High near the right point. Caught, dropped by Lund. Skating in the circle. Now to the oh. far side. Went off a Tulik stick. He falls down. Had the back door wide open. Couldn't handle the pass. Johnson crosses over on his skates. Wrist shot top of the circle. Hit McKay Hayes and goes into the netting with 107 left to go in the game and 28 on the power play. Circle. Johnson wants it at the point. Now over to Lund. Deflected shot by Garvey. Goes off the end glass. Might have drawn some pipe on the way by. Lund in the Clearview logo. Now over to the right circle where Tulik is. Feedback and it's uh. intercepted by Richard who jumped out of the penalty box. He'll shoot and he'll score from center ice. You know, Gabe Lund backed up because he sensed the penalty was going to end. He didn't have a goaltender in there banging the stick because he was pulled. on the bench, but he probably saw on the board that the penalty was going to expire, so he backed off and that allowed the pass back to the point to be intercepted and there's your exclamation point for Niagara. An empty net goal for his first goal as a Purple Eagle. Richard, the freshman, eight games in now, gets his first point in college hockey. Yeah, that did hit some pipe on the way by. That's been the theme of the weekend, right? Guys from Niagara who had not scored collegiate goals previously did so this weekend. And With great repetition. And that adds up to a sweep for Niagara over RMU. 1926, the official. Now they're looking for one more. As one of the Colonials falls down, it's Merkley. Chang 